All right, what's happening? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores, and it is sad news, but it has been confirmed that Chase Young does, in fact, have a torn ACL. He will be out for season. We have to dive into his injury. When will he possibly return as far as next year goes? Also, who are his possible replacements on the team and maybe not on the team yet? It's crazy because the defense just started to look like they were figuring it out. I mean, nobody's been complaining about Jack Del Rio lately, the secondary. Ever since we moved Landon Collins, the linebacker, suddenly now everything just magically looks better and works better. We finally beat a top tier quarterback because, I mean, a lot of the things about this defense from last year, even though we put up elite numbers, we didn't really play anybody. Well, we've played a lot of people this year and they were getting beat, but we finally played Tom Brady and dominated him. So this is the first game that our defense looks like it could potentially be back to elite. And then we lose Chase Young. So we got to dive into this whole situation. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification immediately. And every time I release an informative and opinionated video just like this one. Again, like I've been saying, I promise at least for the next week, I'm going to do daily uploads. May even do double uploads some days just because I want to get so much content out there as soon as possible. So be on the lookout for all of the content coming up this week at the very least. Maybe even the next few weeks because I really have a lot to talk talk about especially draft wise but without further ado let's get it All right, so like I said in the intro, man, Chase Young's suspected torn ACL has been confirmed today. Well, Ron Rivera didn't specify that it was a torn ACL, but we already knew it was a torn ACL yesterday. Ron Rivera just came out and said that he did, in fact, have a leg injury that's going to end his season. And of course, he will have surgery on it because that's what happens when people tear ACLs. But my biggest concern for Chase Young is when will he be back? I mean, I know things are different now technology is updated rehab is updated so he may not be out for an entire year because like a few years ago torn acl we wouldn't expect to see chase young until november next year like he would already miss half next season which is crazy but i mean we'll see he's a freak athlete i mean he's just a different type of guy so he may be back sooner and better than ever who knows but i'm definitely expecting him not to be ready by training camp so we may not even see chase young during the off season or something like that we'll see i think best case scenario i think being optimistic we'll have him ready for week one but do not expect to see him at all during the off season maybe towards the end of training camp maybe preseason who knows if he has just this miraculous recovery it's not impossible but it's more than likely that he will not return in until the regular season next year maybe even at some time during the regular season maybe not even week one so who knows again i just want to put that in the back of people's minds because some people you know when they think of injuries like this and they naturally think well he's hurt we lost him for this year but we'll have him back next year but the problem is when will we have him back next year again this is all just speculation who knows because again he's a freak athlete he's in the he's very young so he can recover from this at a ridiculous rate and come back better than ever but either way i wish you a speedy recovery chase young because we're definitely losing one of the spirits of the team i respect them so much for coming back out on crutches to cheer the team on i feel like he definitely had an impact because i mean the team seeing him tear an acl and then coming back out on crutches he doesn't have to he could just sit in the back and just deal with the pain that he has but he chose to come back out on crutches with a freshly torn acl to cheer the team on and continue being the spirit of the team and that's one of the things we definitely lose with the loss of chase young um, one of the spirits of the team on the field of course he's going to be one of those guys on the sideline that's still the most hype but i mean chase young usually is the first one that meets up with taylor heineke after taylor heineke has a great play like he's the main one running up and down the sideline so we won't be able to see him do that anymore but he'll definitely still be one of the loudest on the sideline but it is crazy that we lost one of the spirits of the team as far as on the field goes because i mean jonathan allen is a great leader but he's not necessarily one of the spirits of the team one of the vocal leaders you know what i'm saying just yelling and talking the most trash that's more so chase young 
by far the most and then you could probably say terry mclaurin's like second but chase young was definitely like our brian dawkins our ray lewis so it's gonna be a little weird not having them there but the defense still looked pretty good without them but i am worried about offenses starting the game plan towards the fact that we don't have chase young and montez sweat don't forget that montez sweat is out for around another month with a broken jaw and then who even knows like once he recovers from that broken jaw with how much he has to change up his diet with that broken jaw will he even be ready to play will he be as effective as he used to be once he's even healthy enough to return so i mean at this point our defensive end situation is definitely a little bleak because on top of all of that even just their freak athleticism between Montez Sweat and Chase Young, it's also their run stop ability. Even though they haven't dominated as much as we've expected as far as pass rushing goes this season, they're both still two of the top run stopping defensive ends in the NFL already, even at a young age. And so I'm worried about how well teams will be able to run the ball against us now with Chase Young and Montez Sweat gone. Because, I mean, of course, people think of edge rushers as like their main job being pass rushers, but they're really good edge setters and run stoppers. Like that's one thing they're both elite at all of the time. They haven't necessarily been elite pass rushes this year, even though they both have generated a lot of pressures. They just haven't really gotten home to get sacks and put up the stats that everybody sees on the box score. But again at the very least they've been elite edge setters and run stoppers so losing that is gonna hurt our defense for sure but it's next man up mentality ron rivera has already said that casey Tuhill and james smith williams will basically take the lead with montez sweat and chase young out so those will be your two starting defensive ends but of course boomy Rutimi and shaka tony will also get additional reps and will be part of the rotation and i'm excited about shaka tony because i mean he showed potential early on i mean as soon as he came into the game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and of course I mean coming out of the draft Shaka Tony was one of the most explosive one of the quickest and had arguably the best bend out of this entire past draft class out of all of the edge rushers I mean Micah Parsons wasn't hyping them up for no reason so we may have a late round gym in Shaka Tony and we'll get a chance to see what he can do for the rest of the season I mean of course you don't want Chase Young and Montez Sweat to get hurt at all for any reason at all but the silver lining to this is that we'll finally get to see what shaka tony can really do james smith williams casey Tuhill, all of these guys and of course boomy routine as well but the guy i'm most excited about seeing what he can do of course out of those four guys is shaka tony which is why i mean there are some edge rushes available in free agency i mean did you want to try a big beasley did you want to bring back a jordan brelford did you want to bring back a ryan anderson you know, Alden Smith is out there. Olivier Vernon is out there. Ezekiel Ansah. It's a lot of guys that's way past their proms. But, I mean, if you wanted to bring in a veteran, do you want to bring back Trent Murphy? You know what I'm saying? A lot of these answers aren't necessarily good options. But there are names out there to watch for if they choose to go with a veteran replacement. They may not want to trust all of the young guys to go out there. But like I've said, I mean, I feel like this is a valuation season at this point. I mean, we're still in the hunt. We're only two wins away from having a playoff spot right now, which is crazy. I mean, we literally, if we just had Joey Sly from the beginning of the season, we would at least have two more wins just from that alone. So we're definitely still in the playoff hunt, but I definitely don't feel like we're Super Bowl contenders. And so I'm more focused on evaluation at this point. I want to see more Derek Forrest, more Jeremy Reeves. I want to see more Jared Patterson. I want to see more Dax Milne, even with that fumble. But before that fumble, he was out here running great routes. He was making catches. He just got to do better with his butterfinger. Same thing with John Bates. We started to see him more. He was sure hands catching wise, but then he had that stupid fumble as well. DeAndre Carter is out here balling. This is definitely the time to evaluate what we got going on. The linebacker group. Let's just start throwing guys out there and see how they perform so we can truly know what we need to prioritize in the offseason as far as draft and free agency goes i don't want to spend a high draft pick on free safety when jeremy reeves could actually be a solid option at starting free safety now bobby mccain has definitely seemed like that he's figured some things out these past couple of weeks the secondary in general seems like they have figured out a lot but still i would like to see what jeremy reeves could do i would still like to see what Derek forrest can do and all of those guys before we go and prioritize any of these position groups in the offseason 
And the same goes for defensive ends. Now with Chase Young and Montez Sweat out, it's like we might as well see what these young guys can do. And you can, you know, bring in a free agent, a veteran presence if you need to in the offseason. But I feel like at this point in the season, again, we still are technically in the playoff hunts. And I'm not saying tank the season away, but I'm prioritizing evaluating our young talent and the guys we already have on roster over just bringing in a random cheap veteran option to try to just put a band-aid over a situation. It's going to also be interesting to see how Jack Del Rio adjusts the defense. Like, I mean, now that he's finally starting to blitz and it's working and we've been asking him to blitz all season long and what do you know you move Landon Collins from safety to linebacker suddenly our defense is just way better you start blitzing more often suddenly our defense is more productive but now with Chase Young and Montez sweat out you're definitely gonna have to find a way to generate more pressure consistently so we're gonna have to just start blitzing more even more than we've been doing lately which is gonna be a very interesting adjustment on Jack Dorio's part this is where Jack Dorio really earns his money you're missing your two top edge rushers what are you gonna do and same thing goes for the interior defensive line now that chase young and montez sweater out deron Payne, tim settle Matt Ioannidis, and of course jonathan allen jonathan allen's been playing at an all pro level i don't care what anybody says he's definitely been playing like an all pro this year but it's time for all of those guys to step up and generate a lot of pressure from the inside to help those edge rushes do their thing the backup edge rushes the replacement edge rushes but yeah man that's the end of this video please get in the comment section let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video how much will losing chase young impact this defense we're finally starting to look like an elite defense again finally but will we still look this good with chase young gone as a starter because they still look good even after chase young got hurt but who knows offenses may game plan for the fact that chase young and monster sweat are not there and may run the ball outside of the tackles more often now that those dominant run stoppers are no longer healthy and of course man please like this video if you liked it if you learned anything also man i appreciate all of the support man shouts out to everybody that donated to the streams yesterday man i really appreciate y'all and of course shouts out to all of my sponsors especially my pro bowl sponsors whose name you see scrolling on the screen right now man i really appreciate y'all i'll catch y'all later i'm out